Good afternoon, I am Kwan Yin and I'm coming to you live from Sesame Street. No, that's Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Nonetheless, I am Kwan Yin and this is I Have No Cut Cards Tarot. Okay, so I'm just going to jump right into this reading. You have a friend of yours, okay? Uh, this is either a friend or an ex-friend of yours or this is an ex of yours. You take it as it resonates, okay? Uh, possibly a Leo, okay? Uh, possibly a Leo energy, okay? I have the strength card here, but you can it, it could just be someone that has Leo highly aspected in their chart. So this was uh, a friend of yours, uh, Four of Cups, that wanted some type of results for something that they did that now they're heartbroken over because a secret came out, the moon card reverse. Some type of secret came out about something uh, that they did. Okay, that they were very being very confident about uh, in whatever lie they told about you. They were very convincing uh, in the energy they stood in when they presented a lie to whoever this other person is. Okay, now whoever this energy right here is, um, they are they're intelligent and wise and intellectual. This, this is a very smart person but they're dishonest and deceptive, okay? I'm getting covert narcissist vibes here. But uh, this is someone that uses their intelligence and wisdom uh, to be uh, dishonest and deceptive. So that could be someone that, you know, knows how to paint a picture, okay? They know how to paint a picture uh, to make people perceive things in a certain type of a way. And now, uh, whoever this person is, they're ashamed of themselves and they're ashamed of themselves because they know that they love bombed uh, whoever this other individual is, okay? Uh, they, they, you know, they use uh, their dishonesty and deceptiveness and their intelligent, wise uh, intellect uh, to love bomb somebody to trick them into doing something, okay? So you have someone else here. Uh, the King of Swords, okay, this could be an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, or any other sign. Uh, this is the person that was love-bombed. Uh, these two are now cursing each other out, okay? Uh, this person, this is someone that generally has good intentions, okay? Remember, we're both light and dark. We're both, uh, we both at any given millisecond of the day have the option to exercise our free will uh, to... Uh, uh, make a decision uh, on our higher self, the angel on our right shoulder, or our lower self, the devil on the left shoulder, okay? So uh, at this particular time, these people are not getting along. They're cursing each other out. Uh, this is someone that usually has good intentions for the most part. No one's perfect, uh, but this person is shallow and surface level, okay? Uh, so this person isn't really that deep. It's probably someone that's materialistic, uh, this sounds like someone that may be uh, a follower, uh, might be a people pleaser. They don't want to stand out too much. They, they are part of the crowd, let's say that. Shallow surface level, and they want acceptance by the crowd. Uh, this person is having trouble uh, because they're saying, I won't or can't let go uh, of because they are emotionally codependent and unhealed, okay? Which is most of the world, really. Uh, this person... This person is emotionally codependent and unhealed and is having trouble letting go of whoever this uh, energy over here is. Uh, I have Leo energy here. And it's because this person love bombed them and they use their intellect to manipulate this person. Uh, and when you have someone uh, with narcissistic tendencies that use their intelligence and love bomb somebody and they're dishonest and deceptive, the perfect attraction for that type of friendship or relationship is someone that's emotionally codependent and unhealed. And the reason for that is this type of superficial personality, crowd pleaser, uh, that really has good intentions, but they're not strong enough. Their will is not strong enough yet. And they're not confident enough to stand on their own two feet yet. You know, uh, they don't want to step out of line. Uh, they want to fit in with everyone. And that means this is a person that is dependent on approval from other people. They've probably been that way their whole life since childhood. And the last thing they want is for people to look down on them, to frown on them, to disagree with them. They, 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 they don't like for people to poke fun at them or poke at them. 
They want to make everyone like them. So that's an emotionally codependent and unhealed person, okay? That's having trouble letting go of the person that love bombed them because whoever this person is that love bombed them, most likely, uh, most likely this person that love bombed them uh, uh, was playing on the fact that they're emotionally codependent, you know? They gave them acceptance and, and, and some form of validation, okay? Uh, now, if this is a Leo energy, uh, Leos are very proud people. They're like the lion of the jungle. They walk with their head up, their chest out. Uh, they're usually very attractive people, both the women and the men. Uh, they, they, you know, they're like a shiny object of gold. A lot of people are attracted to their energy, their confidence, uh, their beauty, whether it be male or female, you know, um, their, their strength. It, it, it's a lot, uh, you know, Leos have it going on. Leo's have Leo's really have it going on, okay? Uh, so, if this person is emotionally codependent, uh, they probably wanted validation from someone that uh, had a more confident, stronger energy than they did. And I'm sensing this could be an air sign, possibly. So they they, they don't deal in the realm of emotions a whole lot, just logic. This person gets a lot of attention. Uh, this is who people look up to. Uh, and admire so uh, since I want to be viewed the same way I'm going to attach myself to this type of energy so in any case this person's having uh, trouble letting go so in the past uh, if you know these two people and I feel like for you this could be an ex of yours possibly that could have been lured away by a friend of yours that could have been a Leo uh, take it as it resonates whether it's masculine or feminine and what this Leo did was okay I have here Petro, okay, uh, which is uh, Gouda La Flambeau, okay, uh, which depicts a strong masculine figure that has a whole lot of uh, sexual energy, okay? And the thing about that is uh, I see a lot of passion here. Uh, this person used a lot of sexual energy uh, to entrap your person. Uh, they could have done some type of sexual manipulation with them. In any case, um, uh, this person, they say this energy, what this energy right here embodies is like a moth that's attracted to a bright flame, you know, and they're getting closer and closer and the momentum's building up and, and, and they're feeling the heat right before their destruction. Okay. So, uh, it's, uh, Petro, uh, Gida La Flambeau in the reverse here. Okay. And then I have, uh, Santeria Obatala, okay, which is an earthy energy, okay, and it has to do with wisdom. This earthy energy, uh, and it's in the reverse because somebody was not listening to their wisdom. Wisdom displayed in the matter at hand, fair judgment, correct assessment of a situation, okay, mastery of a situation through calm, deliberate action presents uh, given uh, tokens of respect. So I feel like whoever this person is, they did not, um, they were not paying attention to their intuition. Uh, they were not executing right wisdom. Uh, they were in an energy, whoever this person is, I feel like they were in an energy uh, just of uh, being caught up in some type of a passion, okay? Uh, and that's the reason, confirmation, that's the reason why uh, they were cut off. They were actually cut off. Uh, I have Rada and Mumbo here. And this has to do with uh, being cut off from delusions and illusions. Okay, this energy right here, Mumbo Rada. Okay, but the problem uh, being cut off from illusions, uh, this other head represents illusions that uh, you're cut off from. And it also has something to do with the part of air that encompasses water, which would be like steam or whatever the case may be, steam. So you imagine, or when it's humid outside, okay, this is having something to do with uh, a type of energy wherein this person, this person is an air sign, but they don't have enough intuition you know, to recognize the real from the fake, okay? And they got fooled by a trickster spirit, Alegua, okay? So I have Alegua, 
uh, Santeria Alegua here. And it also came in the reverse. And the reason it came in the reverse is this is a trickster spirit. Because the energy can go either way, you know, because, but depending on what you do and what actions that you take. And whoever this person is, they will fold because the, it's like if you don't give the proper sacrifice, then you might not get the results that you want. So what's behind that door might not be what you're expecting. You know, you might be under the uh, assumption that what you're getting ready to do is going to go through for you because of the actions that you took. But the actions that you took were not fair and balanced and you did not use wisdom to execute it. Instead, you were going off of passion and you didn't use enough intuition. Okay, so uh, with this trickster spirit, what naturally ha what actually happened was instead of them getting the success they were looking for, the opposite happened to them. Okay, trick or treat. That's what they're telling me, trick or treat. So what happened with these people in the past is this friend of yours, whoever uh, possibly a Leo energy is, uh, they were offered an, some type of an opportunity in which they thought that they were going to manifest abundance possibly off of you because this person... What I, the download I'm getting uh, is this person was getting readings on you. This has been coming out for over a year now. Whoever this friend of yours was, they were getting readings on you, okay? And they saw that you had abundance. You're going to be extremely wealthy in your future. And how that abundance is going to come... Uh, it could either come through your own work or it could come through someone you were going to come in contact with for business or a relationship. So because this person was getting readings on you and was uh, had the understanding that you had some type of abundance coming towards you, uh, they assumed and jumped to conclusions that that abundance was going to come in the form of someone that you were dating that was wealthy or that was getting ready to be wealthy. So... What they did was they moved, they, 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 they invoked this passion, you know, or this uh, ability they have to attract and trap someone by love bombing them, uh, someone that's weak, you know, using their passion and attraction and locking them in, uh, thinking that they are, if they can steal your person from you, then they will get that abundance instead of you. That's what they thought. But they did not use their wisdom because here's where the trick was, the trickster spirit, okay? That abundance, okay, that abundance, if it was supposed to come through whoever this King of Swords energy is that has good intentions but they're weak-willed and emotionally codependent, the abundance was not going to come unless that person got into a high vibrational relationship with you. It's like you were trying to perform some type of alchemy in which you were going to turn some type of base metal into gold, okay? But in order for that to happen, you needed the right ingredients. You needed the right DNA, the right vibration, you know? You needed the right key element, you know? And you, you are that key, not whoever this friend of yours is. But because they thought that they could be successful with this because they didn't use their intuition. You know, they went towards whoever your lover or whoever your ex or whoever this man or woman was that you was involved with and they seduced them and got into a connection with them, you know, uh, in order to see if they could beat you to the punch. And they got this person to cut you off. And what's happening right now is that person is going completely broke. Whatever blessings they had going, coming towards them, advancement in their careers, uh, whatever was supposed to happen as a result of them coming into union with you, it's gone down the drain because it was not meant, it was not meant for your friend or this ex-friend of yours. That blessing was meant for you and that person, should they have stepped up and fulfilled the role in your life that they were supposed to fulfill. Okay, it doesn't have to be a love relationship. It could have been a business relationship. Whatever it was, you had the key. You was the key to that abundance. 
This it, it wasn't going to take off in this other person until they came into union in business or love with you and only you. But your friend was not aware of that. Your friend your friend didn't realize that that was the trickster part. Elegua. Elegua. You know, she she didn't she didn't do her research properly. She she was illusion. That was the trick. Rada Mambo. That that was that was the trick. She wasn't cut off from this illusion, illusionary head lingering over her 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 big ass head. Not the picture, but I'm talking about whoever this friend of yours is that thought that thought that they were smarter than the universe. They would they thought they were smarter than the Orishas. They thought they were smarter. Uh, you know, they think they're smarter than uh, God. So they said, if I jump in her place. I'm going to get the blessing instead. It's almost like uh, uh, Jacob and Esau. Do you remember the mother was trying to switch the birthright between Jacob and Esau, you know, from their father, uh, Abraham. They, with Abraham and uh, she wanted her son to get the blessing instead. So she dressed him up like the other son and put him in his place so the father would give him the blessing. So this is basically what your friend tried to do. Now you're no longer friends with this person and they're out of your life, but they've lost you as a friend. They've lost a blessing. And now they have whoever your ex was or this friend of yours you were dealing with was, uh, they have them stuck around them. Now, if they haven't cast them out on their ass already, because that, that person is broke. That person is broke. They ha and they're not experiencing any kind of abundance at this time. And guess what? You moved on to, uh, you moved on to calmer waters. And because you are the one that is carrying in your womb that blessing of abundance with you, you were just looking for the right suitor to come and inseminate, inseminate you. And it doesn't have to mean literally have sex with, but inseminate you you know, in the right way, energetically, the, the perfect fusion of uh, masculine and feminine energy. Energy is uh, uh, fluid in both ways. And when you come into union with that person, that's when that abundance is going to spring up. But you are the key. So it didn't have it didn't even have to be whoever this King of Swords energy is here. That's disconnected from their emotions. It could, it, the blessing could go to someone else now. But either way, you are the main key here. So now your friend has lost a good friend. And whoever this male counter or female counterpart was, uh, they're going broke because they have missed their blessing because of this trickster spirit here. The trick, and, and it wasn't the spirit that was trying to trick them. They tricked themselves because Obatala, Santeria, in reverse, they did not execute wisdom and judgment and they were not being fair to you they backstabbed and betrayed you you know to hurt you for money they chose money opportunity uh lust over love because they were not fair to you and they went toward that other energy to backstab and betray you uh that is the reason why when they went for their prize What's behind door number two? It was a pie in the face. <laughs> Brokeness. It's a block of welfare government cheese behind door number two. Because <laughs> that's where y'all going. I don't even think they make that damn cheese anymore. Matter of fact, I, I wish I could get my hands on some of that cheese. I've been thinking about making candles lately. I'll take a match and make government cheese candles for y'all. <laughs> and sell them shit i was an expert slicer i knew how to slice that cheese so thin on that bread you wouldn't have known you'd have thought you was chewing on craft cheese damn it <laughs> okay so that's the gist of the story uh i'm gonna see if there are any more uh messages with regard to uh this friend of yours that uh, try to play Jacob and Esau and step in and get your abundance and get your blessing. Yeah, they want a new start with you, Page of Pentacles. They, they, someone, either your friend or your ex. But either way, uh, you know, they, they, they tried to cloak themselves in your energy 
and steal the person that you, you were dating or in business with or whatever the case may be is, you know, because they got a card reading on you and they found out that you, they found out that you had a lot of uh, a blessing coming toward you. Like you're going to be extremely wealthy. They got your chart ready for something in your Neptune. Uh, I'm no expert in this, but, but it, it, it's, it's just something I think in your Neptune, I think. Wherein it, it was just showing them that you're supposed to be extremely wealthy in this lifetime. Uh, and it was uh, someone that you were going to come in union with. But the person that you're going to come in union with is only going to be able to activate that if you, so to speak, bless them. Based on how they treat you. You're the key. You're the one that can unlock the gift. You have the magic touch. Some of you have the magic stick. Stop. <laughs> you have the magic touch. You got that magic touch wherein anything you touch turns to gold. And that blessing was not about to come out until you take whoever that masculine or feminine is on with your hand and you touch them on their head and, and, and you divulge and unlock that key, that energetic key that's going to allow all that abundance to flow. And you're not going to do that until all of your requirements and needs are met. You need a person to be of a certain mind frame, of a certain vibration, of a certain intellect, highly intelligent. It has to be an emperor or empress status. Okay, that's someone that has control over their confidence, which means they're not going to project uh, towards you in a relationship or in business, low vibrational energy due to their unhealed wounds and insecurities. They have to be emotionally controlled, mature intelligent and responsible which means they're not going to abuse and use anyone's emotions uh due to unresolved conflicts that they have within themselves they're not going to take advantage of anyone by manipulating their emotions in any type of way and this person knows how to be fair and give and receive love you know uh in a healthy way that means this person is a king or queen of swords which means this person has good boundaries and they're highly intellectual and intelligent. You get, no, 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 you can't get one pass on this air sign because they can see straight through your bullshit because of, they have a lifetime of experiences of uh, trying this and failing at that and dealing with different personalities and getting burnt and slapped on the hand and hit upside the head. And now they know they can see bullshit, you know, um, from a mile away. You know, and they have excellent boundaries. They're not going to play no games with you, period. So they know how to protect you using their boundaries. You know, uh, with the words they speak and the actions that they take, they know how to protect uh, you financially, emotionally, uh, energetically, uh, with their good boundaries that they have developed over time. And lastly, this person also is a king of pentacles or queen of pentacles which means they are financially responsible they know how to manage money uh, they have the wisdom how not to waste money on foolishness this person is not too superficial and materialistic this person has wisdom in how in what they invest in and they're stable and they have structure and they have discipline so with all four of those energies combined, that creates an emperor or an empress, a totally well-rounded person that is balanced. And only then, and only then, can you, if they're a match to you, knight them, put your hand on them, and give them the blessing to move forward with you. And at that time, that's when you'll come together and that abundance will flow in. But this person didn't do that. Whoever this person is, they backstabbed and betrayed you, you know? And this person that she was with was emotionally codependent and unhealed, okay? Which means it was easy for your friend to love bomb them, okay? Using her wisdom or his wisdom being dishonest and deceptive. And now they're ashamed of their behavior, you know? Because this is someone that will do anything for money. I've gotten rid of everyone in my life that will do anything for money. 
Amen. I've gotten rid of everyone in my life. Blood, family, friends, anybody. I don't care who you are. Anyone that will do anything for money, I have gotten out of my life completely. This person now is stuck in a codependent relationship with your friend because they can't let go because they, 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 they have issues uh, being by themselves, okay? And they're shallow and surface level, which means this is a person that has not even started to try to master themselves or gain control uh, over themselves emotionally, uh, financially, uh, uh, confidence-wise, or uh, any other type of a way. All right, and now and these two people are at odds. They're at odds with each other now. Uh, even if this is a person that had good intentions, they have too many low vibrational ways about them at this point in their life still. And now I think uh, both of these people might want to come back in your life. Both your ex-friend or your ex-lover or business partner, whoever this is, uh, both of them may want to come back in your life now uh, because she didn't get or he didn't get the money that they were looking for. Now, now they both could be going broke and experiencing lack. Huh. Any other messages? Yeah, I knew it. 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 They didn't get their wish fulfillment. Even these people, your ex-friend and your ex business partner lover whatever i'm starting to think this is the next lover of yours they were doing they were being very childish and doing spell work on you possibly they wanted to pull you into something uh maybe they wanted uh to see if they can get you into some type of a threesome or something with them uh is what they're telling me or whatever the case may be which is really weird can because can you imagine an ex of yours uh being lured away by a friend of yours and then them coming back around to you and asking uh do do, do you all want to get involved in some type of a threesome together a after what they did to you these are some narcissists whoever whoever these people are uh they're mad because you you got free uh of whatever type of spell work they were doing and and and, and as i was doing this reading i felt a lot of heat like uh in my sacral and yeah mm -hmm. look at that my candle just went out back here i don't know if y'all can see the smoke that's coming up i can see it you probably can't see it but there's smoke pouring up from this candle behind my thing here uh because they're talking about my sacral and my root chakra okay as i was doing this reading when i was pulling the cards before i turned the camera on i had a surge uh, a very hot uh, uh, energy that started like boiling in my sacral and root chakra okay and this is the feeling that you get uh, when the type of spell work uh, these people were doing on you it was uh, some type of come to me spell uh, work wherein uh, your loins they'll feel like they're on fire uh, in other words, you'll feel a feeling of being very sexually aroused, horny, a, 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 a huge rush of it, you know, and they're hoping, uh, I believe these people were hoping uh, to pull you into some type of energy harvesting type sex work with them. Whatever the case may be, they being very childish for a very long time was doing a whole bunch of spell work on your root chakra and your sacral. A whole bunch of so, uh, uh, spell work because when I was pulling these cards I could feel the energy literally you know that the message was trying to tell me about they, they kept doing it over and over and over and over and over again you know uh, that's how you know if out the blue you start feeling a whole bunch of burning energy in your root chakra and your sacral sacral chakra that is uh, causing you to feel uh, obsessively sexually aroused a lot of times someone could be doing a come to me spell on you and they're hoping that uh you're not in control of your sexual energy and it will cause you to pick up the phone and call them uh so that you can come together and you can release some of that sexual energy you have to learn to have discernment to know when that's your energy 
and when someone's doing spell work on you. And if someone is doing uh, spell work on you, you can go ahead and get you uh, a red root chakra ca uh, candle. Uh, you can get a sacral chakra candle, uh, which would be more like uh, not a red color, but almost like an orangish red type color and uh, even a yellow solar plexus candle and light all three candles, uh, burn some incense and you can do some meditations and speak out some invocations, uh, invocations uh, over yourself, over your root chakra, over your sacral chakra, over your solar plexus chakra. You can, uh, I petition and invoke protection over my sacral chakra. I petition and invoke protection over my root chakra. You know, you open up your mouth, you should be doing this anyway when you're saying your prayers if you are a person that is spiritually attacked often. But you open up your mouth, you light you some candles, and you, as you light those candles, I petition and invoke Archangel Michael. I petition and invoke Archangel Gabriel. I petition and invoke Archangel Megatron. I petition and invoke, okay? And then even after that, I petition and invoke protection over my mental body. I petition and invoke protection over my emotional body. I petition and invoke protection over my root chakra from anyone siphoning energy from me. I petition and invoke protection over my sacral chakra from anyone siphoning my energy from me or tampering with my energy or projecting to me energetically or astrally projecting to me, ethereally projecting to me to tamper with my energy body. I petition and invoke protection. You, you have to open up your mouth and say it. The same way they teach you in the religions and faith we grew up with in church, you know, when we were taught to say, Satan, I rebuke you right now in the name of Jesus. I command you to get out of my house. Get away from my children. Get away from my stability. Hands off of my mother. Hands off of my child. Hands off of my family. Untouch my family. You know, that same way you were taught in the church to open up your mouth and to speak against things. It is the same exact invocation energy that you are going to use your mouth to direct the energy in the way you want it to manifest in the commandment in what you want it to do i return this energy to the sender go back to who sent you and do to them what they requested you to do to me you have no authority to be here open up your mouth if you are ever the victim of this type of spell work wherein they're trying to heat you up and you'll be able to tell because it'll keep happening over and over and over again. They'll keep heating up uh, that root and sacral chakra. You'll be able to tell it's spell work because it's not going to feel natural to you. Okay? And I'm only speaking from my own experience because I know. It won't feel natural to you. You can take you a spiritual bath, but if you cannot take you a spiritual bath... You can open up your mouth and speak an invocation and light some candles. If you can't light a candle, open up your mouth and hold up your hand and you petition and invoke protection of your sacral chakra. And you're going to say, I call all of my energy back to me. I call back all of my energy to me. I call all of my energy back to me. This energy is mine and mine's only for my manifestations of for my abundance and my abundance only. I call all of my energy back to me. When I wake up in the morning, I call all of my energy back to me. My energy belongs to me and me only for the manifestations of my abundance only. That's why each and every individual was given their own root chakra. We're not sharing one. You have your own sacral chakra, your own solar plexus, and your own body. I didn't offer to share it with you. It belongs to me. So the key to blocking this spell work and to protecting yourself and for calling back your energy is your mouth. And if you are a deaf mute and can't talk, you better sign the fuck out of your hands. Uh, 
I, I apologize. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that to be offensive. I'm stupid. Open up your mouth. I petition and invoke protection over my root chakra, sacral chakra, and you say it over and over again, and you will feel that energy flowing back up inside of you, and you will start to feel relief from the energy be, that's being called down and gathered. Because when they're doing this spell work, they're calling your energy down. They're calling it down uh, from your crown chakra uh, through your heart. They're, they're pulling the energy down. Your energy is supposed to flow upward, but they're calling it down. And it's a rush of energy into your lower chakras, which have to do with reproduction. They have to do with sex, okay? It's the same energy that can be used for manifesting abundance, manifesting things with your mind that also can be used because it's so powerful for reproduction. You know, uh, you can create a whole human baby with this same energy. So it's very powerful. And which is why, interestingly enough, I'm just going to say real quick, uh, if you notice uh, with dance, you know, everything started in Africa with the first humans. Uh, so that's also with dance, which has evolved into other cultures you know, but, you know, the root of it. Uh, in a lot of West African cultures, you will see that a lot of the dances are with the butt and the hips, right? And it's very healthy and important, not just for the women, but for the men. It has to do with fertility to move that part of their body because you're invoking a certain type of energy that's healthy and good for, for, for your reproductive system, okay? It's very important to make sure you're raising a healthy child. That's why they do the dances that they do that are so beautiful, you know, that a lot of people demonize. And in a lot of East African cultures, if you notice, a lot of the dances are uh, more like from the waist up. You're going to see more movement in the arm than the shoulder than the chest. You know, uh, I know... Uh, in uh, Somalian, Ethiopian cultures and cultures going uh, further up towards North Africa, you're going to see more movement, like going toward ancient uh, uh, Nubia, ancient Kemet, which you call Egypt today. You know, a lot of those dances are also, uh, <coughs> they're very precise, and they're with the shoulders and the hips. Think about Michael Jackson in Remember the Times. Do you remember in Remember the Times that uh, with Michael Jackson, those dances those Egyptians were doing, you know, uh, like, uh, and the hand movements and the shoulder movements that Michael Jackson was doing. Uh, and interestingly enough, uh, Michael Jackson, you can tell, uh, you know, if you're intuitive, you can obviously see uh, that he does come from uh, an older Egyptian bloodline. But not to go into that today, but... This is life force energy being moved throughout the body through these dances that we do, okay? And in some cultures, they do both equally. Uh, they do the butt, the hips, the shoulders, the chest, uh, the whole upper region, the movements, you know, and what it is symbolizing is that kundalini energy that is being brought up, you know, brought up from the bottom and brought all the way to the top. You know, the sexual part of it, you know, those dances that are invoked sometimes when someone's doing uh, a dance for fertility or if someone's doing spell work on you and, and it's something of a sexual nature, then the dance is going to remain, you know, in the hip and the butt area for both men and women, okay? But, you know, when you're trying to pull that energy higher into the higher chakras, if you notice, the dances are going to start getting more into the shoulders and the arms, you know, and, and uh, the chest area. Because they're pushing out, they're pushing out that energy uh, out of their higher chakras. You're going to see, you're going to see Ethiopians dancing more with their shoulders and they're going to use their head and their neck a whole lot. Because they're raising that energy from the sexual regions and now we're moving it into the intellect and we're moving it higher until it's up in our higher chakras. So it's a beautiful thing in all of our cultures, the dances that we do, because they are used to really, they're really used to raise energy. They're raising our kundalini energy throughout our body. It's a beautiful thing, I promise you. It's been demonized, you know, by religions and misinterpretation of pe what people do not understand. But all of them are very important and none of them are nasty and it's nothing wrong with any of these dances. You will find them in every culture. Okay, so 
you have to, whatever was done, it was, it was some type of a powerful spell work that this person was using on you, okay? Petro uh, Goudé Le Flambeau, okay? Uh, what they were trying to use uh, on your lower chakras. And, and uh, to pr in the future, if that ever does happen to you, just letting you know, uh, they're upset because they didn't get their wish fulfillment, they didn't use their intellect here, you know, uh, and, and they were tricked, okay? Because they thought they were taking all the right steps because water has to do with depth. When you see things it, deeply, when you can see something very deeply uh, and instead of seeing things surface level, these people, they, did, they were not fair to you and how they treated and deceived you, okay? And it's because they deceived you and didn't execute wisdom and fairness, Obatala, Santeria, uh, in the reverse. They didn't treat you fairly uh, in trying to trick and fool you. Uh, and they were disconnected. They only used intellect. Uh, they only uh, were straight thinking with their logic. But, uh, and that was the whole trick. The whole trick was uh, uh, Santeria Elegua, you know, it, it was a trick. Because they didn't use their wisdom and they were not fair with you, the trick is they didn't have enough emotion and depth to be able to recognize and see that the blessing was you. The wealth and abundance lies within you and whomever you deem worthy enough to put that blessing on so you can manifest it together. So by this person going towards your friend, it automatically disqualified them for any type of abundance, okay? So they went through door number two. They went through door number two and they ended up broke. They ended up broke and now your friend is sad because uh, your ex friend is sad because they're in a relationship with someone if they haven't broken up already with someone that cares nothing for them at all whatsoever and, and they were fooled because they were love bombs, so they thought they did care about them. And whoever uh, your other friend is that seduced whoever this person used to date is, they want you back in their life as a friend because they saw and knew the value, the value that you have as a friend. And now they're realizing they lost you as a friend and want you back because they sold you out for money and they didn't get the money. Well, since I'll do anything for money, I'll sell you out. But since I couldn't get the, but since I couldn't get the money, then I'll go ahead and take you back as a friend. The fuck out of here. <laughs> All right. Anything else, spirit? Anything else? Anything else? When a person, when a person is well balanced, that means when a person is well balanced, <laughs> two of pentacles, when a person is well balanced, yeah, that's, this is what I just said. When a person is well balanced, they don't, they, they don't make decisions and analyze situations and things in their life only from like a logical standpoint. Or only from an emotional standpoint. Or only from only a financial standpoint. They understand that it is the perfect combination of all the energies that are needed to make sound choices and decisions. Because they're a balanced person. They're an emperor or an empress. So they have the ability to use that uh, water element of emotion, right brain thinking, that feminine energy... That's their right brain, which is in balance with the logic side of their brain, the left brain, right? And, and both of them are in such perfect balance that it allows them to think four ways until everything is in perfect balance in whatever it is they're analyzing and then execute a good decision based on looking at it from all aspects. But when a person is immature, young and inexperienced, they're just going to money, money, gimme, gimme, gimme. Logic, logic, logic. It's money. Go get it. And they're not. And these are the people that often get tricked. 
they get they, they get tricked and fooled because they didn't see the other side they didn't see the other side to to it they just saw what was surface level they did not know that there was another uh there was another key involved you know to this abundance that they read in your chart they just thought i'm gonna find out who she's dating uh, and that that's the person that's gonna be rich i'll take them i'm gonna take that person and then i'll be rich instead you know that's logic but when you have emotions that are in balance th that are balanced you understand it might be a little bit deeper than that the abundance isn't with that partner it's with her and whoever she chooses to bless so that you, they could come in union and have that abundance together so they got duped and this is what i was just saying it's you know uh, it, it comes from being balanced two of pentacles whoever you decide who, whoever's offer you deem to be worthy and acceptable that is the person that the two of you are going to inherit this huge abundance with so what you did was move to calmer waters uh, with the six of swords here and you're headed towards your ace of pentacles possibly to get it by yourself now you're probably going to that person that was supposed to uh, become very wealthy as a result of coming in union with you they've lost everything in the blessing because the blessing was you and now you might end up just getting that ace of pentacles all by yourself because you are blessed yes you are okay I am Kuan Yin and this is I Have No Cut Cards Tarot.